I'm Kuen, and uh, this is Carolina. Wow, I'm this Carolina. Is, yeah. So this is <laughs> our uh, first uh, episode of our uh, sort of like video podcast uh, called Drawing dun, 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 Lines. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Background music provided by Carolina. <laughs> I'm just trying so, to hype it up a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, like uh, the point of our podcast is like <clears throat> we're both artists who are trying to learn, uh, still trying to be better. So we and uh, we love communicating with each other. I think that's probably the best way to really just get better, you know, to share art with each other and draw together. And that's what we're doing here. And while we're drawing, we tend to just, you know, talk a lot. So I think that would be interesting, you know, to see what artists actually talk about what, when we're drawing. At the same time, uh, this, since this is our first episode, we're going to be doing uh, like a uh, Portrait studies, right? Not portrait studies. Uh, figure studies uh, of just people. Right now, we're using a, a website called lineofaction.com, and we're just gonna go through the exercises, and hopefully, maybe you guys can learn something while we're learning something. All right, so let's get started. All right, Kelly, are you okay. ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, here we go. I gotta unpause it. All right, uh, thirty no. seconds. I I got it. We're going. We're going. All right, let's uh. It's not a speed contest, Karina. Oh no! It actually is. It's thirty seconds. Oh wow! I'm on a. I'm using a white paint. Great. That's okay. There'll be other ones. This one's difficult. Ooh. Oh, I was not looking at the uh, actual uh, figure. I was actually looking at your drawing. Don't look at my drawing. Now we're the drawing. No, oh, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Oh. Crap, it's three minutes. All right. Oh, all right. Oh, this oh, wait, is I, okay. I get it. I get it now. I get what's going now on. Now you understand. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that it was like thirty it's, seconds. Thirty yes, seconds go by quick. It's a warm up. They're no. very quick, so you have to be way bigger faster. wave. Okay, I'm gonna use bigger. I told brushes. you it is a speed contest. <laughs> You're right. What was I thinking? <laughs> this isn't a speed contest. It's pretty tough. Hey, down. hey, hey! I didn't know. I didn't know what was going on. I'm running off the screen. I'm running out of space. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to just control all the wheat. Oh shoot! No, no. I, no. What, what I'm doing is I don't like have space. New layer. Yeah, I just make a new layer. I actually did that. Up. I ran out of time. Okay, so I'm using a bigger brush while Carolina is like just straight sketching with thinner line, which I think like I mean everyone does it differently. I'm using a bigger brush because uh, it's a little faster for me to get just the shapes. <laughs> and uh, my proportions are so off. Ah. Ah. Again. No. No. I keep on oh. right. I'm suffering. <laughs> Why? Why are we hurting? Why are we hurting? Okay. I keep on I'm gonna, going on I'm the gonna, white layer. Okay, I'm gonna compromise and try to go in a smaller line. Oh, this is really interesting. Like I'm, I feel like I'm learning something here. Ah, I'll it's be the faster. gesture is in the line. My yeah, friend. exactly. Like I was trying to draw too much details. Who is this guy? Who is this? Birdman. Birdman. Oh. Seal, seal in it. He's feeling it. Arms up. Oops. Fingers. Oh no. I'm gonna redraw him. Oh shit! This is difficult. Wow, small head. Okay. Oh, another bird person. Okay. I feel like I have to really spend very little time on every single detail. Showing that booty. Mm, popping. Popping. <laughs> He's popping. <laughs> I'm running. I ran out of space. Yeah. Ah. I actually got to draw the whole entire thing. That's yeah. Like, yeah. I got. Okay. Actually got to draw ballerina. The whole ballerina. Okay. It's about the leg. It's about the leg. Man, to the I'll, calf. To the thigh. Yo. To the ass cheek. To the okay. leg. To the thigh. And then this leg. I ran out of space. Crap. Uh. And then we're up. We're up. To the chest, to the booty, ah. and you're up to the arm, up to the arm, hands, fingers, wow, fingers. Wow, that's a big, <laughs> big legs. Why are ballerinas so hard? They should not be so flexible. 
All right, here we go. Oh, nice ballerina pose. Okay, so I'm going to start hand. Okay. I, <clears throat> I tend to always do head. I wonder if it's better to just start with the uh, uh, chest I first. Uh, I go with the most, I try to go with the most sweeping line that I see. Mm, I just go with head first. Maybe, yeah, I should stop doing that. Well, maybe you can try something different. I was going with head in the beginning of wow, this. Wow, my, my more action pose and Ooh. graceful pose. Okay. Okay. This guy again. Uh, this guy again. This guy. See, this is like, he's got squared out arms and then chest to the side. Oh, he's Spider-Man. That's what he is. Hips are offset, and then there's a knee. I always, you know, I hate how small that knee is because, like, in the drawing, it doesn't look cool. <laughs> wow, this is really hard. Is really I don't know why I'm having a hard time with this pose. I should... Ah, damn, it's over. It's over. Um, it's, over. it's all over. Oh, this guy. Wow, sexy. He's sexy. He looks like Jackie Chan a little bit. Whoa, like a little Jackie Chan, Steven you know, Seagal. Do you know when uh, when he cross dressed as Chun Li? <laughs> You know, <laughs> he you know he's ready. This is his, yeah, I you know he's ready. Oh, he's got that tricep flex. Ooh, gotta draw that tricep. Ooh. I don't know why. When I see I'm, I'm muscle guys, finish. when I see muscle guys, I have such an easier time. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's just because that's. Ah, <clears throat> oh, it's over. Uh, I don't know. I, I like that one. Crap. I did. All right, this guy's back. Jackie Chan back. <laughs> he does not look like Jackie Chan in this one. <laughs> not in this one. And, no. And Otherwise, you just racist. Otherwise, I'm racist. I thought I said Jackie Chan is Steven Seagal, though. Just so you know. Oh, okay. Just cover your bases. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of racist. It's okay. I'm Asian. We can make fun of Asian <laughs> people. I can. You I'll, can. I'll let you. I'm I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. <laughs> you didn't. I don't. You, I don't think you're able to do that. I know you. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't you're think not. You have the power no. to do that. No one has the power to do that. <laughs> but I appreciate the gesture. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you in more trouble. Yeah. Uh, oh wow! This one they're letting it. Uh, I think this is longer than 30 seconds. Yeah, it is longer. So they're... it's a uh, it's classical. Oh, so... I see what they're doing. So they're making it longer over time. Okay. Okay, so. this is a minute. Okay, not thirty seconds. Oh, this is great. That that was a warm up. Nice. That was alright. That's why it's class mode because it's like instead of doing mm -hmm. a set number, they kind of vary it up. Only Man. the problem is, I I'm drawing like way too big for this space. Yeah, me too. Well, that's something that we have to learn. You know, managing uh space. It's pretty much composition, right? I guess I can draw smaller, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's something to Oh, man, that, that was really good. Uh, make, forcing us to go like 30 seconds, 10 seconds uh, of stuff. And then once we get to where we have extra time, it feels like uh, so much better. Yeah. It's like yep. <clears throat> someone like punching you in the face all the time. And then when you get hit in the ribs, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try to go smaller, like you okay. said. All right. Wow, I, I hear some uh, nice stuff in the background, Karina. Oh, yeah, some sounds music. interesting in there. Mm -hmm. Just so you guys know, Carolina right, is working on a game with her partner. It's called Play Tactics. It's pretty Sweet. awesome. It's Good. pretty awesome looking. Put on your Steam wish list. Yeah. Yeah, Play Tactics, guys. Play Tactics. Check it out. <laughs> and Thanks. also check out their current game, Valve Story, on uh, Steam. That's, our, All that's Steam. our previous game now. Yeah, it's your current game. That's out now. You're so making me mess up my drawing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, shower lady. Ooh. That reminds me, after this, I'm going to take a shower. It's getting, like, hotter now. Yeah, it's got warmer up here, too. Is it, like, spring over there now? Uh, yeah, Does sure. feel like spring? Yeah, there's flowers everywhere. Nice. Yeah. Flowers. I think I think there's a lot of people sneezing 
when I was at the grocery store? Oh, get away from them. What? Why? The infection. Oh, man, this face sucks. <laughs> oh, you're actually doing all phases. I'm still doing gesturing. That's okay. You know what? I'll just I do should actually inside. finish this. I should actually finish the pose before I get into detail like that. Amateur move. That's okay. That's okay. Makes me look better. That's fine. <laughs> wow. Ah! I was like, you're doing a face on the side. Oh, this guy again. I love Ooh. this guy. Love My this dude. guy. Oh, I'm doing the head thing. I'm doing the head. I went with the head when I should go with the body. Oh, yeah. Ah, you're right. I was totally doing that, too. Just their shoulders, like where are the shoulders? Shoulder up, shoulder down. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. This is like an above angle too. So it's really tricky. I don't know, I love it. His his foot and his like calf are very foreshortened and nice. Your pose is coming out nicer. Mine looks like shrek. I don't know. Something about when I see muscles, I'm like happy or something oh like, women have muscles too yeah whatever <laughs> do you not want to draw muscles on women no it's just like all the women that we've seen so far doesn't have like big muscles i'm talking about like just yeah. draw their muscles anyway with a cool pose. oh that's true right. oh i like this guy yeah he's cool Tiny head. All right, let's see. You know, when I'm in like classes and like in the classroom, I can't mm -hmm. talk out loud. They won't let me talk out loud, or I'll look strange. So I'm really, uh, it's really happy that we on uh, for this podcast that we can just talk out loud and just say. Our oh, thoughts. you mean like drawing, uh, gesture yeah. drawing? Yeah, like, yeah, in, like, you in should art, totally, you know what, class? Uh, next gesture, next gesture, I want to know what's going through your head when you're drawing, like, just speak I it out loud. I was about it, I was like, wow, that's a nice body. <laughs> that's what you're saying in your yeah. head? I was like, man, I wish I can get abs like that. <laughs> I thought you were going to think about the form. Oh, yeah, that or too. Something. Yeah, that's or, cool. Or, like, what you're drawing, like, the shape of the thing. <laughs> Yeah, this guy's pose is cool. He has a great haircut. Man, <laughs> I wonder how many hours he works out. Yo, that's what I think. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm thinking about like the shape of the head, how there's like a cool scoop from the shoulders to the, the you skull. Don't, and you don't want to rub all on his body? What? No, you're not thinking that? Alright. No. Alright. Shit. <laughs> I was wondering what happened if it glistened. I'm wondering about this, like, muscular structure behind, I guess, the traps or whatever. They kind of look like a heart. Oh. And this pose. Right. See, I need you, Carolina, so that you can just, like, Aww, you're <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you can well, tell I'm me right about heart stuff. And, oh, my God, we had th over, like, three minutes. This is a three-minute pose? God, no, it is a five-minute. Oh, I should have spent more time on this. I thought it was gesturing. It I told you. Have... <laughs> it wouldn't have started out as trash if I knew that. They need a little announcer to say how oh. much time we have. <laughs> oh, crap. All right. I mean, next time, I'll say it, okay? I'll keep talking. Right. Because I can't really see. My yeah. uh, my view of it is not. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's okay. Mine also started out like if it was going to be 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, <clears throat> I really love this fight because... You know, it's like being punched in the face a couple of times. And then when you get punched in the ribs, it's okay. You know? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't know if that works. That analogy works, but whatever. Maybe. I, I think I understand you know? it. <laughs> it is like getting, um, like, <laughs> like being, it doesn't work. what's don't it called? It. Don't waterboarded. <laughs> like you're being waterboarded at first. <laughs> then, okay. And then after... When you just you know just have to dive off of a of a board you know diving board like it's cool because you're not getting waterboarded that time. <laughs> okay, yeah, hundred percent, a hundred percent. Yes, 
I oh get my you. god, what am I gonna do with all this time now? I know it's like I I just I didn't. Plan I guess I'll out. work on the boots, jeez. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm noticing is that I'm just going back and reiterating tons of things and not adding anything to it. It's just like I'm redrawing over the lines again. I think Which, it's important to like get the form and then and and then at some point there's all these uh cool, uh like details mm -hmm. that you can add that will emphasize your um your form like the wrinkles and the muscles you know okay like the boot actually probably doesn't add anything to the pose right like well this fucking boot is terrible <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm gonna work <laughs> on that but like the muscles yeah, getting muscles. The, the muscle detail or the like the wrinkles on the pants you know what i'm gonna do they I'm emphasize gonna, the form i'm gonna shave yeah that's what i'm gonna do oh cause, snap so I, I got i got time <laughs> Get all these so when you shave, do you do you look at the shape of the shadow that <clears throat> you're drawing? Like if it's a square shape? No, I don't. Do you actually. draw? Sh you don't? Yeah, I'm. <clears throat> I need to actually do that because I think that creates volume when you're thinking about it in shapes. Yeah, like when you look at like the shadow behind his head, it's a square shadow. So you want to try to get that, and it goes into his skull and his hair. So. I don't know, maybe, I think, instead of just drawing whatever shade, yeah. uh, it would be cool to, like, try to get down the actual shade shape. Okay, because all then right. Because you're actually drawing the Five muscle. minutes, Camilla, five minutes. Five minutes? Oh, oh, my God. I didn't know what you were talking about. I thought the stream was going to be over in five minutes. <laughs> wow, this guy went, I forgot. This guy, went nude. He went naked on us. Okay, I, need, I also need to draw smaller. And we have five minutes, so... All right. So I'm going to draw a little lighter, and I'm going to use a smaller line so okay. that I can get more detail. Wow, I wonder what the last one's going to be. It's going to be like 10 minutes, Probably. 15 minutes. I don't know, but now that it's five minutes, I'm taking way too much time. I don't like it. Oh, okay. oh, oh that's this right. Is, this pose is whack. I don't like this pose. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's like here. Where's this rhythm? I don't see any rhythm in this pose. I'm, I am, I am lacking. I feel like in my ability just, to see just, the he's, rhythm. He's just awkward. That's all he is. He's like, huh. Oh well, you know, you know, like his chest is kind of facing, you know, at an angle. You think he's trying to like, well, you know, romance his blanket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, just. Also, kind of, you know, measuring uh, his what? equipment. <laughs> He's looking like down at doing? it. He's looking down at it. It's like, hmm. But it's being covered by a blanket. Are you going to draw the blanket? Yeah, you have to draw the blanket. Oh, man. I don't want to draw a blanket. Dude. It's too erotic. <laughs> what are you going to draw? I like your drawing much better than my drawing. Oh. I am spending way more time. I am struggling. Struggling. Bicep. Okay. Tricep, <clears throat> forearm. This doesn't look like a dropping at all. Right now, I'm like, okay. So in my head, what I'm doing is like pectoral. I feel like I'm just copying. Okay, I'm not like creating yeah, form. Yeah, I don't. I don't see any rhythm in this pose. Yeah. <sighs> but if I was like really good, I would see it. Mm, yeah. Trash. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's just, this is just terrible and, you know, whatever. We can't, there's no, nothing we can not, do about that's it. That's true. I'm sure that, like, we can Craig Mullins would be amazing at <clears> this. <throat> no, we, we're not going to skip this one. All right, fine. It's hard for a reason. Like. Oh, this, per I did not get this perfe perspective right at all. I like your drawing, man. The drawing looks good. Huh. I have not looked at uh, your uh, drawing yet. I haven't seen any of them. I hope you saved them. I hope uh, you they're just on layers. Okay, good. Yeah. Me too. I left it all in layers. Oh, that'd be awesome. I wish Maybe I we can make that. a like a gif of all the layers. You know. Oh yeah. And then we post it on Instagram together. Yay. <laughs> yeah, this is not the looking down uh, image right now. Uh, the one I'm drawing. It's like more like frontal view. And him. Uh, maybe all you have to do down. is you draw the 
the circle for the head, you draw the jaw, and then you put a line through the middle, and then you put the eye line like lower on the head, and the nose, and then the mouth, sort of, yeah. to get the yeah. lower look. I miss his underwear. He misses underwear? He yeah. misses his underwear, too. Yeah, I like his underwear. <laughs> it sort of gave, like, a line to draw to help, uh, <laughs> you know, to, no, for the camera. <laughs> no, not just for covering up, you know, <laughs> but camera. for uh, just helps the camera It added some angle. mystery to underwear. <laughs> no, it added uh, <laughs> help with perspective, <laughs> right? You know what I'm talking about, right? It helps with perspective because uh, you can create a, a circular line, right? Like, you know. Oh, you mean, like, it adds guiding lines for the geometry? Yeah, that you're exactly. Like this, I can just do like that with the underwear, you know? So you can see, like, the shape of it that you're looking down, you know? Right now, my, mm -hmm. <laughs> if he had underwear, it's like this now. And you see on my, uh, on my, uh, yeah. Image? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a problem. Oh, this is a five minute one. This is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one wants to do this. Now I'm just Yours gonna... is fine. Yeah, I like your drawing a lot. It's just... Now I'm just making up stuff while I'm drawing. This is a, it, it is a rough one to get stuck on for five minutes. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah, so Carolina, like um where did you learn about like all about the oh, shapes? It's over. Story? Ah, I had a good question too. What's the time? What's the time? It is ten minutes. A ten minute drawing. All okay. right, we. I'm gonna go. Also, is much smaller because this is two people. This is rough. <laughs> just so you. Um. Uh, I just want to express that when there's more than one character, artists, most artists have a hard time uh, dealing with that, which includes me. So I don't know about oh, you. Oh, inter you mean interacting yeah, characters? Yeah, exactly. Two interacting yeah, it's characters. A challenging thing. It's really hard, and uh, that's why like a lot uh, artists charge way more uh, <clears throat> for commissions when there's two people interacting. Uh, I think um, it was really hard for me in the past. It's a little bit easier for me now. Mm -hmm. But I think it's mostly because. Like when you have when you have one character, and right. you're trying to figure out how the character's fitting in space, like and how they're standing and where their weight is being pressed onto the ground, mm -hmm. and like all the different gravitational, I guess, questions about the pose, uh, you can kind of like cop out when it's just one character, but when there's right. two, you have to be consistent with both. So that's why I think for a lot of people, it's really or for everyone who's starting out doing that it's really challenging because uh that's two people existing in space so that's two people seeing so before like when i used to draw i would just draw people like floating in space kind of and then like put the feet anywhere and it would be fun and like and it would be a good drawing but when you draw two people now you have to have both people interacting in the same space mm -hmm. i think that's why it's hard uh, well, I mean, I know why it's hard. I'm just wondering how are you able to deal with it? You said, like, it's a lot easier now for you. Like, uh, I I still find it way hard. I try to avoid it as much as I can. Oh, well, I don't think you should avoid it. I think you yeah, should figure out how to do it. Yeah. But, you know, it will. it's definitely a pain in the ass. Like, um, but what helped me with that was, like, going to martial arts oh jiu -jitsu, right? because yeah because all of a sudden my own poses made sense like the way i put my foot on the ground was important so when i drew mm -hmm. a character i thought about the way they put their foot on the ground right. you know the way where their weight was and how their body uh like how their body's weight uh, was distributed so, and then with two people, I don't know. I don't know if I got that from martial arts exactly. Um, I did try to draw some poses and try to draw people like grabbing each other's lapels and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But so you think know. definitely martial arts helped you a lot. It helped you like think more about like how things work together, right? Yeah, definitely. 
right? Because it, it sort of forces like, you because you had you have to know these things uh, to participate in class, right? To get better. Yeah, you have to. Right. So it makes sense actually. You get punished if you don't. If it's bullshit. Wow. If you're doing bullshit, you get punished. So martial arts, um, like all artists, probably should take martial arts. Right. Is that what you're can, saying? Yeah. Uh, or bodybuilding. You think bodybuilding? Body body I, like, I feel like jujitsu or or any towards uh, any type of a uh, full contact uh, sport probably better, right? Well, I like like I guess when I was a kid and I was looking at Capcom artwork, mm -hmm. I uh, always wondered how the hell do these guys know so much about muscles? Like I I can't keep track of every single muscle in the body and how they're all connecting and stuff, mm -hmm. and then. But when I actually went to the gym and like cared about the muscles on my body, then I started to understand. I started to draw each one because each of them were like important to me. Right. So that too. Oh, okay. Now you know? I, I totally get that. Yeah. And so I just started drawing muscles like nice. better. But with martial arts, the, it was the spacing and the footing, I guess. And like. Oh, wow. so basically you're. Basically, you're you're trying to promote exercise, <coughs> working out for artists. <laughs> that like it really is helpful. It is helpful. Okay, I'm gonna move this image up. I guess some it's... people can do that without. Oh <coughs> wow! It's just, like for the longest time, I didn't know how people were. How they work. How how Capcom artists drew so well. How they drew every single muscle. Like I was, I never. I thought like, man, I guess I'm gonna get this eventually. Like, how the hell are they? get such an accurate drawing and then it and if i had taken like bodybuilding or something doing that earlier uh -huh. then i think i would have gotten it like a lot earlier wow that's really interesting i think some people it, can uh <clears throat> can see that without doing bodybuilding but yeah i think uh you maybe, maybe. Some, some people who never really thought about muscles like seriously i think men think about muscles um in general uh, maybe more so they're thinking women. about muscles you know, more than women are. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, women, uh, I don't think that's the case for everyone. But yeah, of course. I think uh, maybe in high school, men are thinking about going to the gym, and our guys are <laughs> okay. Maybe sure. that's the case. Nah, that's not for all guys. No. <laughs> yeah, some guys like to just you know veg out. That's true. I guess. Eat tacos all day. Yeah, but like, guys tend, at least my brother and my dad, they had like pull up bars and they had uh, weights. My sister didn't have fucking okay, weights. Okay. She had a fucking cute, like, that, uh, what's it called? That this, makes sense. Uh, what, oh, God damn it, what's the name of that stupid makeup kit thing that she had? Caboodles. She had a fucking caboodles that I almost died from, and she only cared about the caboodles and not about me. Oh. <laughs> uh, That's okay. a long story. I shouldn't have mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate caboodle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but it's you're saying it's a makeup uh, kit thing. Okay, no, no. Like when you have a lot of makeup, mm -hmm. uh, you need a place to put it. So you know how artists have like these cascading suitcase that opens up. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. So my sister had that for makeup called a caboodle. <laughs> All right, I got you. And one time I was playing and like we had this gigantic, I guess it was like a leftover, it was a metal cabinet that we used for storage in our bedroom. Mm -hmm. And I was playing with it. Oh no, I put, I put my cat in there. I put like, it was. <coughs> I'm sounding like this is animal <laughs> cruelty. And... No, I was just trying to put it on the shelf and she like didn't want to go there obviously. And she, okay. she like jumped out. And it made the whole entire cabinet drop. And she was safe, but I wasn't safe. And my sister ran in the room and was like, my caboodles. And I was just like, I almost fucking died. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Uh, you know, <clears throat> when you're kids you and stuff. No one, yeah, you guys don't care about each other. Bodybuilding all the way. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's, that's good advice. Makeup. That's actually really good advice. You know, if you Not don't understand. Mu no, if, if you don't understand muscles. <laughs> <laughs> you know, go to a gym, join a, a martial arts class, you know, <laughs> and you'll probably uh, like appreciate muscles more. Maybe that's, that's what it is. Maybe 
if you start appreciating muscles, right, then you'll, well, of you'll learn, it you know, you'll learn more about it. You'll want to learn if more about it. If you're trying to build up a tricep muscle, I did not know how to draw a tricep muscle mm -hmm. ever. Like what went on in a muscular person's forearms and the back of their bicep, like I understood what was going on in a Ninja Turtle like arm, you know, like, okay, three bumps or two bumps here. But triceps, I was just like, this thing twists and turns, and what the fuck is going on? And then later on, like, <laughs> when you try turtles. to flex your own triceps, you're like, ah, it looks cool here. Well, you know, Ninja it looks Turtles cool. not the... I can see it pop in a bit. No, Ninja Turtles work. Yeah, they're not the best for anatomy, pra uh, anatomy references. They're the worst. But they kind of give you the general basis of, like, of the bicep. That's all they fucking drew. They didn't draw no triceps. They got away with Did they? they, they Did they draw triceps? Did they draw Kron's, uh, Kron is totally fighting me on this one. Ninja right. Turtle triceps? Is it a thing? Because I don't remember. Maybe I just didn't care about Ninja Turtle triceps. <clears throat> so the magic of uh, digital is that you can, like, move things around, right? So <clears throat> we take a lasso tool and just move things around like that. I'm just thinking, like, if we I did like this on paper. I like your guys' pose. Oh, come on, Carolyn. I was trying to you know, like do some sort of lesson thing. Why you got to interrupt oh, me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm All sorry, right. I'm sorry. Jeez. I'm gonna shut up now. Now I lost my thought. I don't know what to do. So no, no, do it. No, 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 no. Start your complimenting. Compliment. Go ahead. Compliment. Finish I like compliment. your guys' muscles are very shapely. Okay. I like your lady. Short break. What is she doing? Get up and stretch. Have a drink of water. No, we don't need that. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Kelly, we gotta go next new one. Oh Ooh, wow, twenty five minutes. She's so cool. Twenty five. Yeah. Hot damn. Anyway, the last the last picture. Um, mm -hmm. I really liked uh, your your legs on the female, on the girl. I really liked your arms on the male. Yeah. Well, now we know like what we're good at. I'm really good <laughs> at arms, and you're good I'm at really legs. Good at legs. And I'm I good at see. male arms, and you're good at female legs. <laughs> I'm gonna try to draw this smaller. Yeah, me too. There, there's a lot. There's actually a lot going on in this. This is very angular, so there's I don't sense a rhythm in the action. Okay. But actually... So, one of my like biggest weaknesses is that I don't see shapes. All right. So I'm no? gonna try. Yeah, I don't see shapes and things. You have to close one I eye. Oh, what does that mean, Kalina? What does that mean? I I close one eye. I'm blind. <laughs> You have one eye? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Well, okay. When you're drawing from life, <laughs> this is not life. So the thing is already in 2D. Mm -hmm. But so actually my, my advice is uh, just forget about it. <laughs> it doesn't work for this <laughs> because this is already 2D. <laughs> okay. You close one eye to kind of turn a, sh turn a real life subject into 2D because you kind of eliminate the whole 3D aspect of it. But anyway, could you continue? Because I'm, I'm really sorry for interrupting. <laughs> what? Continue where you were saying you you don't see shapes. Uh, yeah, so you know, like shapes, like shadows, and what we were talking about earlier, like oh. <laughs> seeing shapes and shadows, or seeing shapes in like just in forms of people. I see lines. That's all I see. Oh, okay. See? So. Actually, um, when I'm drawing, I'm seeing lines right now. By the way, what, just using reference and being pressured like this. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing lines. I'm not really thinking of the the shapes, but I am I am kind of trying to find the uh, the flow of a of a drawing. So like how I know that this elbow arcs over her shoulders and then to her shoulder. I'm sorry, it arcs over her arm to her shoulders, past the clavicle neck area to the other arm. You, you know, know that's wow. an important flow line. Head, shoulders, uh, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Go ahead. I think that shit, I'll do. <laughs> oh wait, I, oh yeah, that's right. Literally, you, you have you have a kid. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Does she like that song? I'm trying to get her into it. Oh, okay. She's, she's more into it to the spider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm glad. Are you gonna teach her to, to like bugs? I hope so. I love bugs. Yeah, I love bugs too. Um. I like bugs when. They, even when they sting me. All right. Well, anyway, what I was saying was for these things, I'm trying to find the, the flow of the line. Like right uh -huh. now, 
her, it looks like her shoulders, actually her shoulders and her hips are uh, like above each other, mm-hmm. almost directly above each other, but they seem like they're, she's kind of moving, like her shoulders are a little bit more to the right. Okay. I should be thinking like what you're saying in three-dimensional space. Yeah. <clears throat> right now I'm trying to, I'm forcing myself to try look forcing at this. Forcing yourself to find it? To see What like, I could say shapes. is like Draw this shapes. shoulder right here is definitely facing upward. But uh-huh. I don't, I don't want to get into the 3D-ness of it Yeah, I think that's not the time. Oh. I think you have to get the whole flow, the pose first, and then you can break it down into 3D. Yeah, I think uh, actually you're right. I think that's a smarter way to go in that flow right <clears throat> getting kind of like the the main points of the the, an, <clears throat> the anatomy mm-hmm. and i probably should have started with that way also you should um try to draw her the way you draw men because when you draw men you you make them very like you draw their muscles and uh-huh. here you're drawing tubes again. So why don't you try to give the bumps, give it more, make it more bumpy like way you make your men. I think you will find that your girls will come out better and more natural. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should start drawing women like men. Yeah, I don't know why. In my head, it's so hard for me to accept. I mean, like... To give, to give the female forms muscular structures. Yeah, exactly. Like, I have issues or something. You have so, no issues. It's just... Like, a, like when something I'm something, I don't know when I'm drawing uh, like to think about because right now you're if you look at the tubes that you've drawn, like the uh, one that connects the bicep, like you have this, right? And then, like, actually, the bicep would be like that, but you have it like getting larger as it goes to the shoulder because you want to draw a tube so bad you know but if you drew bumps the way you draw with men you would naturally start to get yeah you know you know try try to get away from those tubes okay so what i'm gonna do since i have i'm gone this far i'm just gonna make it like a are you gonna draw with 25 percent opacity yeah i'm gonna draw over it all right so kind of start over we got like 20 minutes damn is this one minute book? yeah i forget that we have all these tools that we can use in photoshop that's not available on like paper are you draw on Photoshop a lot though, right? Or have you been drawing on paper more recently? Uh, actually, when I was when I took a trip to San Francisco, I actually drew yeah. on paper more. Oh, nice. Because it was so convenient. It's it's much easier to deal with like on the plane with that small like folding tray. Yeah. You know, it's like, ugh. And and I forgot how fun it was to draw. You know, I love drawing on paper. But on paper. I, I try to draw on paper. And, um, well, I wanted to, like, draw from life, just draw anything, because that's fun for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but eventually, like, Roxy draws on top of it, too. So I oh, guess that's cute. That's the art, yeah. <laughs> she just, but Super it's funny expressive. because I draw her toys and she recognizes them. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, so she's like, Ellie! Oh, she can, uh... And she <clears throat> recognized she... herself. Oh, that's great. She was like, Roxy? Uh, did she said baby or she said Roxy? She said baby, but I thought she said Roxy. I don't uh, know if she recognized herself now. She knows what a baby is. That's good. She does know what a baby is. Does she point out other babies? Oh, yeah. There was a baby pointing out, baby point off going on. Because the neighbor's baby was there, and she was there, and they were like, baby, baby, baby. They were just pointing at her. <laughs> it could, someone could make it into a song. <laughs> There's like a million songs like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where people just say I'm... baby? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense that there would be. <laughs> Wait, I'm talking about just regular pop culture. They always say baby. <laughs> Oh, oh, are you talking about oh, like, I'm talking about like actual song with like little kids, like a kid song, yeah, <laughs> kid song, and they go, you know, like baby, baby, baby. yeah, 
Wait a minute, isn't that an NSYNC song? I don't know. Oh, whatever. Anyway, who cares? <laughs> They're dead. Except for Justin Timberlake. He has my birthday. Oh, he does? Wow. Yeah. You're really special. No, not really. <laughs> oh, uh, something that I wanted to talk about with you, actually, Karina, uh, <clears throat> since you're making a video game, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's this uh, Dutch uh, collective, sort of a game collective, where it's just a bunch of four cute guys, right? Four so cute guys? <laughs> this came out because we were talking about, I just mentioned NSYNC. Right. Oh. <laughs> so it's these <laughs> these guys and and you no know, on their Instagram they they post like they're in a boy band, right? They're trying so they're funny. being funny, right? But they're uh -huh. a, they're a game collective. That's they're, funny. <laughs> yeah, they're a game collective, and their uh their way of um uh making money is actually pretty cool, right? They they release like like ten fifteen games a year, where it's just experimental mm -hmm. games. It's not like full complete full game yeah and they're, they're like a collective because it's, it's like one person working on a game by themselves but they have help from the other like guys like say um, oh i need some art done uh could you do it you know or i need uh i'm not really good at coding this thing uh can i you know get your help mm -hmm. you know things like that so that's how they make games together which is a yeah. really neat concept you know so and like I said, they release like 10, 15 games and they have a Patreon where it's like a subscription fee. So mm -hmm. that you have access to these experimental games and they seem to be making a decent amount of money, you know, doing it. Cool. Yeah, there's actually pretty good support for it. I just noticed when I start talking about stuff like that, I did not draw. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I should probably like uh, calm down. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Yeah, there's been a lot of collectives. I don't know if they all work that way, mm -hmm. but I suppose that that's how they do it. But I they mean, just like to be within the vicinity of each other. Right. I mean, but like, there's one in Brooklyn now. Oh. I think. Yeah, like I was wondering. Dumbo, if... I think it's called something Dumbo. Yeah, but it's like uh, their collective is not actually working together, right? Their whole base is just working around each other. Uh. Right. I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't know, but I, I assume. Because uh, these guys are all about actually making games together, like actual games, like, you know? I, I like the boy band aspect thing. Yeah, I know. On Instagram, that's that's how they uh, top themselves. How do they split the profits? Do they... Um... Uh, I think it's something through their Patreon. I'm, I'm sure they split it four ways, I, I assume. Oh, it's the Patreon? Yeah. And then the sales of the game? Yeah, it's the uh, no. They actually don't sell the games. They it's all Patreon. Oh, so their games are free. Yeah, their games are well. It's free if you're if you subscribe to Patreon. You know, if you donate money, you get the access to the games. And they probably make it open source or something. Uh, I don't think so. Actually, I'm not really sure. Well, maybe it's open source for the people who subscribe. Like you have access to it. Maybe I don't know. But I, yeah, I guess they would make it open source, because you know, know they're not finished games. It's not finished games. They're not selling the games. So I don't know. But it's a it's a really interesting concept, I think. You know, and I, I wonder what your take on it was. Um, I think that's cool. Yeah. I mean, these aren't. I'm not like I don't think I would do that, but. <clears throat> Right. I mean, I I like the idea of the community thing and mm -hmm. how that must be right. that must be fun, but I just don't see. I don't. I wouldn't do that because could never make a really full project. I, I mm -hmm. like make full full complete experiences. Right. But um, you know, I I like the idea of uh, it must be fun to have that type of community. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like, I feel like it's sort of a year-long global game jam yeah like making a game can be pretty lonely mm -hmm. you know right uh and you don't get to like see many people or especially if you're not at a studio or something i mean it's it's better to uh make a game on your own than work at a studio my right. opinion. Mm -hmm. but the downfall is that you don't get to see 
right. um, wide variety of people, which is why it's nice to have like a place to go to. Right. But um, if you're if you're able to do that. Right. And I but can to, uh, attest to that that working in a game studio, like professional game studio, it's cool, but it's definitely not as cool as working on your own games. Oh yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> I can attest to that. You know, my experience. That's mm -hmm. how I experienced it. Well, I think that uh, the difference is that even if you were working at a place where there's other people there, you uh -huh. still are your own boss. Right. You know, it's not like you have a boss when you're at a, when you're at a studio. You have a boss or people that you have to. Um, sometimes it can be a good experience to work with other people. Uh, you know, as long as they're guys share like the same vision mm -hmm. yeah but that's but just, other times yeah. there's the investors or whatever that don't allow you to do what you really want to do or mm -hmm. don't let you do the cool thing yeah i was about to say that like it's cool like when you start a game but once the investors step in oh right that's when things turn ugly every single but, experience so far has been kind of like that for me I, but i also think that it's good to have had the experience of mm -hmm. work to work in a yeah. studio because you know how to f complete a game you know how to make a good product yeah yeah no i i think the experience is great you know but uh definitely like if you if you could like work for a smaller game company and be able to have some more input you know i think it, it's so i don't know it's much more fulfilling in the end i think you know, like working at when um, when we worked together at like Game Lab, that's how I felt. You know, I felt like I had a little more input in things. Yeah, that was nice. Game Lab was nice, but that mm -hmm. was really rare. Yeah, it's very rare. It's too bad they uh, could. Well, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, every a lot of companies, um, they don't always last. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So how much time do we have on this poll? We have nine point thirty seconds. Nine thirty seconds. Wow, you are going to shading and everything already. I'm just trying to see if I could actually get yeah. hint at more <laughs> okay. shades. Okay, if I, Carolina, if I overall, do a secondary shade. I just finally looked at your work and I compared it to mine. Yours is looking really cool. Already. Oh thanks. Yeah. I mean it took a while to get here and I'm not sure if I like this pose. <laughs> well, I, I definitely like your face way better. Uh, you know so how I started makes it? me want to draw, redraw the face. Just, I started with dots. Just a dot for the pupil, a, a dot to find where the pupils are, a oh. dot to find where the nostrils are, and dots to find where the mouth is. Like, don't draw those things. Draw dots to find the placements of them to mm -hmm. see if they match the drawing. You know what it was, Carolina, for me? When I, was, when I was starting on the face, I was not looking at the face anymore. Oh, you were just drawing your own face? Yeah, I was drawing my own face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's silly. I, yeah, you know? <laughs> because I haven't, done, I haven't done figure studies in so long, and I forget like how important it, these things are. Yeah, these things are really important. I mean, I, I haven't done it either in a long time, but I, I like doing them, you know? Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. that was one thing about working at a studio and working in the city is that there was figure drawing places to go to. Oh, uh, I mean, it forces you to leave the house. Yeah. yeah. It forces you to be around things like that. People. <laughs> People. Those things. People. And then the commute, you can play games and stuff. Yeah. Oh, see, that's where Switch would be awesome. Yeah, I would totally be playing more Switch games. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the other thing too is like when I usually draw like faces, I usually draw way bigger. Hey, nice face. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm actually looking at the uh, the drawing more. Drawing more. <laughs> so come on, man. The, you're doing the. Oh man, I totally forgot to draw this braid. <clears throat> Mm 
kind of wish that I could do this drawing, but like not, I'm copying a lot. I'm looking at it and copying it, but I think like the coolest thing to do would be to like look at it, interpret it, yeah. and then draw it. That's because what... like this isn't really, like I would, I would draw like the knee a little bit bigger and stuff. Mm -hmm. because that's just what I like. This is very realistic proportion. Right. But if you could interpret it, but also make it look realistic, with some sort of interpretation going on, I think that would be, like, the next level. Like, if I if we do this again, I would love to practice my interpretation right. of what I'm seeing. Right. But that's, like, I don't know. It's, eh, I think I know what you're talking about. Like, I like that, too. That's, that's why, like, we're, we're not going to do, like, figure studies for every episode, right? <laughs> you know, we're gonna we don't probably... have to, no, 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 no but that's... I mean, I, en I enjoy it. I think, I think it's a good start that we should, you know, emphasize, like, how figure studies, how important it is, you know? <laughs> I feel like you still, you wouldn't, don't even want to do it, though. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. You're like, I want to emphasize how important okay, it okay, is, but we're okay. not going to do this Let me shit tell anymore, you right? what's in my heart. Let me tell you the truth, <laughs> all right? The truth in my heart. Please tell me the truth. All right? Figure studies are boring as fuck. You find this boring? Of course I do. You know? <laughs> All right, that's cool. Like a lot of people find it boring. Yeah, and so. it, you know what? It's, I think it's fine for people to think that way because it, it really literally is. But the thing is, it's so important. You know? Is it important or is it boring? It's important because like, like even at the beginning of this, when we, we had 30 seconds, right? I'm finding like all my flaws. You know? Mm -hmm. It's showing you know, completely part all Part of the reason why I wanted to do this was because I know that you didn't want to do it. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course you would. Yeah, and I think it's important for you to do it. Yeah, too, I, I no, I I know the importance of doing it, but I <laughs> do not want to do it, so I am not putting myself. I force you to do it. You know, I'm not gonna go out of my way to actually do it. But I'm glad you forced me. I'm. Because, like I said, I'm seeing so many flaws in my, like, technique. And, and think and about how many drawings you did in yeah. the short amount of time. Oh, yeah. How many times you had to think critically about what you were doing in a short amount of time. When you could spend hours on a single painting and yeah. just try to fix it multiple times without really facing up to mistakes that you might have made. Yeah, you know? instead of... Uh... Well, what's this the word is here? all like sketch work. Right. Like this is the sketch phase of a of an illustration, and you have no attachments to this drawing right now. Yeah. Whereas when you draw something, like say you're doing an illustration or whatever, and you're past the sketch phase, so you already did that. You won't be sketching something else until days later, and then you know now you're in a painting phase, and now you have to think about critically about your painting phase. How are you as a painter instead of how are you as a sketcher? But now you've had to sketch. Like, I don't know how many of these, like, we did, we did 18 of these, I think. And yeah, you've had probably. to think critically every single time. That's good practice. Yeah, no, I, like I said, like, uh, <clears throat> I think it's really important that we do these things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, <clears throat> even though they're boring. And, uh -huh. But the thing is, like, it just helps. <laughs> it really does help. You yeah, know? I think I, you'll feel the benefits of oh, it yeah. later. Oh, yeah, I definitely will. Am I going to do it, like, out of my own free time? You know, uh, it's, it's not the fun. Yeah, you could be honest. You said it's like getting kicked in the ribs and kicked in the face. So I don't think you find it fun. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, I, I hate to say it. Sometimes like the best medicine is the, uh, the most painful. Force. Or the, the best medicine. What? Medicine is just disgusting, right? I will subject you to worse things. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, but I'm, I I'm, I'm sure we're not going to be doing figure studies all the time. No, we're not going to no, be no, doing no, figure no. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to like work on like. Sometimes we'll draw are... furniture. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, uh, oh, landscapes. <laughs> you know, uh, landscapes, landscapes would be. Hey, great. You do you like to do that? And I don't well, like to do that as much. Eh, but I will do it. Uh, we can draw mm, landscapes. Not really. I found some things fun because I was trying to experiment with like color right mm -hmm. but landscapes in the end I, I don't like them either right but the thing is like playing with colors and everything and and lighting is fun and that's what I was doing when I was like experimenting with landscape and everything 
which you can see on my Instagram. Everyone, we have Instagrams, so if you want to follow, <laughs> right? Carolina's Instagram is what is your Instagram, man? I, just... uh, I think it's it's Mission Silo M I S H I N underscore S I L S I L O. Okay, uh, mine is uh, Ktep dot art. Much you easier. Ktep. <laughs> ah, don't don't say that. Confusing people, man. <laughs> Everybody uh, no, don't, don't he's got his own radio station. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was a what is it? El Paso radio station or something <laughs> like that. It's awesome. Oh, um, I just found out like ktep.art, the domain name. Yeah. Right? It would cost me like three hundred dollars to get it. Wow. That's ridiculous. Like, I'm, I, I, am not okay. I don't have a website. I should probably get a website. When I was on Switch, there was some, a nice person that came by, and he was just like saying that I, I needed a website to share my artwork. And he's he's right. Like, yeah, it's not just Instagram. Right. I mean, yeah, other people. Or use, a Linktree. Like... Have you seen Linktree? Linktree is pretty cool. Okay. No, I haven't Link, seen it. Linktree is like where you uh, put all your social links. Oh, oh so, yeah. You know, yes, I on do Instagram, know. Instagram, you don't know get it. to yeah. uh, you don't get to share more than one link. Mm-hmm. No, no, I, I totally know what it is now. Um, well, for your website, you could host things just on ArtStation. They have a portfolio thing. I think oh, I need yeah. to do that too. I mean, I have my own website. If you guys want to go, ktep.net. There you go. Right? That's a super. Yeah, Mine, it's, it's all my 2D I, and game work though. Not of my two, not much of my 2D stuff. You should put your. Uh... Yeah, we finished our class. Oh wow, done. And yeah. guess what? <laughs> this podcast has been an hour, <laughs> right? So you go through. I want to see your drawing. Okay. Uh no, let's Should do we... that. Let's <laughs> don't do that. Let's do it after. Right, and on Instagram, maybe we could post like yeah, or a gif or something. Of all, no, I'll places. probably put it in stories. Yeah, exactly, or something. Uh, how would we? Do that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, well, be rough. for everyone who actually like stayed on and actually like uh, watched us do art, thank you so much. Right. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. So this is our first episode, and uh, we'll try to be more organized next time. I think we were just a mess uh, going all over the place, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. So uh, catch you guys later. Bye. All right. Bye.